Good afternoon. I uh, wanted to spend a few minutes uh, talking about uh, the overall Algiers Smart City project and specifically on uh, the upcoming hackathon and uh, startup competition at the end of the month of June, uh, at the same time as the uh, Algiers uh, Smart City Summit. If we look at it, uh, the way uh, the Smart City project has been framed is in basically uh, addressing uh, two levels of uh, objectives, tactical objectives and strategic objectives. The tactical ones tend to be quite similar to any other smart city project around the world where you're going to have to go and basically fix problems, um, you know, and, and, and optimize things, you know, across uh, verticals like from energy to transportation to mobility to everything else, right? Uh, those are pretty common. Um, the strategic ones, they have to be very specific to uh, where the project is and in Algiers specifically, we looked at it and uh, and, and the uh, the thesis is to, uh, to uh, put a framework where we address what we think are the three uh, most fundamental problems uh, and challenges. One is uh, how to link the Algiers technology ecosystem with uh, the global one. Uh, second is how basically to develop a win-win transfer of technology models, you know, moving forward. And three is where to bring confidence in the local ecosystem and basically build technology champions out of startups primarily, right? So in that context, um, startup and hackathon uh, competitions have been put together uh, that will be running uh, at the end of June. Um, we looked at them more from uh, the perspective of addressing this, uh, these three challenges I just listed. And uh, that's the reason we uh, picked very specific technologies to focus on. Uh, we call them leapfrog technologies. So there is no such a thing as a formal definition of leapfrog technologies, but uh, they tend to share a few things in common. Uh, one is uh, they're fairly new. Uh, new in a sense where, uh, you know, developed over the last like 5, 10, 15 years, and where uh, pretty much the whole world is running to figure out how to make use of them and, and disrupt the existing businesses, right? Number two, they tend to be fairly uh, horizontal, i.e. they will apply to uh, different industry verticals, uh, just like the internet applies to everything, uh, some of these leapfrog technologies apply to everything as well. Uh, and number three, they have a very heavy open source uh, component, which basically uh, means one can go and uh, plug into the open source community, uh, get access to, uh, to a lot of the, the code uh, and, and the solution to some extent, and basically customize, update, and, uh, and that's basically the new generation of solutions out there, right? Um, there are a bunch of examples, but we're focusing our competition hackathon front on uh, some of these leapfrog technologies. Example uh, would be uh, uh, things around uh, new models for uh, for internet, internet of things and internet of things evolution. Uh, number two is uh, along uh, new ways of uh, processing data with uh, packaged solutions around big data and AI and new ways of like, you know, handling this data at scale. And three is uh, things like blockchain in, in, a, in a fintech space and beyond where, uh, you know, like new solutions have been developed, right? So uh, it's fairly open as far as a hackathon where, uh, you know, basically uh, one looked at all these new technologies and say, okay, how do I apply them uh, to a diverse set of problems? And, uh, you know, it could be anything one sees in, in a city, right? I mean, across uh, any industry vertical. And uh, how to come up with creative solutions uh, that can be experimented, designed, tested, validated, uh, key here is not really to go and build everything, is to build as, as little as possible with highest value as possible within this time frame, right? Uh, so that's one thing on the hackathon side. On a startup side, competition-wise, uh, the idea is to, uh, to figure out a way to pick startups that uh, can leverage some of these disruptions in the industry and um, you know, new technologies on the leapfrog side and come up with a solution that have a genuine chance of, uh, of being deployed uh, along a valid, viable business model and, uh, and scale that deployment, you know, uh, take into account the constraints that we're going to be having or having in, in Algiers as far as scaling startups and so on, right? So, yeah, so uh, basically the key here is to really think creative uh, to think along the lines of, okay, and this is all new, what can we do that uh, makes sense? And uh, that would basically make it like, you know, viable as a, as a business model at least, right? So uh, yeah, just a few words on this front. So looking forward to uh, basically seeing you uh, at the end of June. 
uh, you know, this will be jointly with uh, with a major conference that you know in itself will have all the experts, uh, at least you know experts in in these areas, and they will be present in Algiers, and uh, it will be a good uh, a good chance to exchange with a lot of them as far as what's possible, what can be done, what partnership can be built, how uh, how basically we go and, and and link the ecosystem to the rest of the world as well, right? Uh, thank you very much. Bye.